Chapter 12. Which Dreamed It? Your Red Majesty shouldn't purr so loud, Alice said, rubbing her eyes and addressing the kitten respectfully, yet with some severity. You woke me out of, oh, such a nice dream, and you've been looking along with me, Kitty, all through the looking-glass world. Did you know it, dear? It is a very inconvenient habit of kittens, Alice had once made the remark, that whatever you say to them, they always purr. If they would only purr for yes and mew for no, or any rule of that sort, she had said, so that one could keep up a conversation. But how can you talk with a person if they always say the same thing? On this occasion, the kitten only purred, and it was impossible to guess whether it meant yes or no. So Alice hunted among the chessmen on the table till she had found the Red Queen. Then she went down on her knees on the hearthrug and put the kitten and the queen to look at each other. Now, Kitty, she cried, clapping her hands triumphantly, confess that was what you turned into. But it wouldn't look at it, she said, when she was explaining the thing afterwards to her sister. It turned away its head and pretended not to see it. But it looked a little ashamed of itself, so I think it must have been the Red Queen. Sit up a little more stiffly, dear, Alice cried with a merry laugh, and curtsy while you're thinking what to... what to purr. It saves time, remember? And she caught it up and gave it one little kiss, just in honour of its having been a Red Queen. Snowdrop, my pet, she went on, looking over her shoulder at the white kitten which was still patiently undergoing its toilet. When will Dinah have finished with your white majesty, I wonder? That must be the reason you were so untidy in my dream. Dinah, do you know that you're scrubbing a white queen? Really, it's most disrespectful of you. And what did Dinah turn to, I wonder? She prattled on as she settled comfortably down with one elbow on the rug and her chin in her hand to watch the kittens. Tell me, Dinah, did you turn to Humpty Dumpty? I think you did. However, you'd better not mention it to your friends just yet, for I'm not sure. By the way, Kitty, if only you'd been really with me in my dream, there was one thing you would have enjoyed. I had such a quantity of poetry said to me all about fishes.'